Hey guys, I'm Amit Kumar and in this video we are going to talk about insert statement. Topics that we will cover up in this video are what is DML, insert statement and syntax of insert statement, auto generated values while using insert statement and some point of caution while using the insert statement. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. DML stands for Data Manipulation Language. Unlike other languages, Apex doesn't require a setup to connect to data sources. It has direct access to our data in Salesforce. Apex provides the following DML statements, insert, update, upsert, delete, undelete, and merge. Insert statement is used to create a new record in the Salesforce object. For example, here you can see we are creating an account variable and assigning sample account to the name field and then we are using insert DML statement to insert this account. When inserting a record, the system assigns the ID for the newly created record. The record name is also auto generated if we do not pass it while inserting. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys. And now you can proceed with the video. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of insert statement. So let me open the anonymous window. And let me show you how we can use an insert statement to insert a record in the Salesforce org. First of all, I need to create a record over here. So let me do that with an account object. So I creating, I'm creating an account object variable. Let's say ACC. Then I'm assigning a required value for this record. So name is a required field for account. So I'm providing a name over here. Let's suppose sample account. And for inserting this account, all I need to do is to use insert, which is a DML statement and the name of this variable. If I will click on execute, this specific account will be created. Let me mention it as sample account one. And now let me click on execute. And now I can go to my org and check whether this sample account is existing there or not. And here I am on the all accounts and you can see sample account one has been created successfully. Now when I'm inserting any record, I have to make sure that I mention the required field over here. In case if I miss the required field, then definitely that account will not be inserted and it will show an error. For example, if I'm mentioning only the type field as prospect and then I'm inserting an account, see what will happen. So here you can see I'm not specifying the name field over here. I'm just specifying the account type and click on execute and here you can see an exception is occurring this is saying that a required field is missing and it will also tell you the name of the field which was a required field so always make sure whenever you are inserting any record like this with the insert statement all the required field should be mentioned now for any record whenever i am inserting a record over here it actually returns the record id after the insertion that means that once this insert statement have been executed successfully this ACC will also hold an ID in it, which will be the record ID of the newly inserted record. Now to show you that, let me insert a new account over here as sample account 2. After insertion, let me print the whole account. In fact, let me print the ID of that specific account as well. And now let me click on execute. So you can see account inserted successfully. If I go on debug only, here you can see the account record is now holding an ID field as well. Here you can clearly see the ID is there. If I would have printed this ACC before insertion, this ACC would not be having the ID in it. So to show you that, let me insert one more account as sample account three. And this time I'm going to print the ACC before inserting and after inserting. And to distinguish between them, I'm using an identifier as before. And here I will print after. And now let me execute it again. Let me go on debug only. And here you can see, before the insert statement, ACC record was not having any ID in it. But once the insertion is successful, it is having an ID inside it. Other than the ID, if record name is there and record name is not a required field, then record name is also auto generated. Now to show you that, let me take you to the org. Now I am having a custom object classroom. And if you see this classroom object, 
in the fields it is having a record name field you can see as the name classroom name so the label is classroom name and field name is name itself because it's a record name field now if i will insert any record over here this id and name will be auto generated so to show you that let me create a classroom record over here so classroom cr is equals to new classroom and because there is no field to be mentioned I'm just inserting it. There is only one field that I can mention, which is the name field itself, but I'm not mentioning that. Now, after inserting, I'm printing the CR just to show you the record ID is generated or not. Now, let me execute this. So the classroom has been created successfully. If I show you the debug only, it is also showing me the record ID. Okay, let me take you to the classroom. Before that, let me copy this record ID. Let me open any classroom over here and paste the record ID to go to that specific record which I have inserted now. And here you can see I have not specified any name to that record name field and still one record name is generated automatically. Now this auto generated name will be nothing but the record ID itself. The only difference is it will have a 15 digit record ID. So if you are not mentioning the record name, still it is auto generated. Record ID cannot be mentioned. Record ID is always auto generated. So whenever you are inserting a record, make a note about these things. Let me show you one more last thing with the account. Now account is having a type which is nothing but a pick list which is having some predefined values in it right. Now let me insert an account and this time what I will do I in the pick list itself I will mention a value which is not there in the pick list like I know Amit Kumar is not there in the pick list itself. Now let me remove the rest of the things which are not required. And let me insert this. So this is sample account four. Let me take you to the org, refresh it. And here you can see in sample account four in the pick list, I am having Amit Kumar over there. So if there is a pick list field, even if you have restricted that pick list field to not have any value other than the values that are there in the pick list from the code, if you are inserting a new value in the pick list, it will be inserted over there. Let me show you this account object and this pick list field itself. So let's find the account type over here. So let's mention here type in the quick find. Here you go. And here you can see in the type field, it automatically added this new value Amit Kumar in this type pick list. Though it will be an inactive value, but still it will add there. So when you are having a pick list, then if you are inserting a new value in the pick list, which is not available already, then what will happen? It will add that new value in the pick list in the inactive section. That marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.